what the timeline is for you coaches that are now in isolation and for, uh, you know, the seven day pause. Did this start yesterday or is today day one of both of those? Uh, honestly, Colton, I gotta, um, find that out, you know, uh, you know, it's a, it's, it's 10 days, um, for coaches and 21 for players. And, you know, I was, uh, I was in on coach Alvarez's call as well. And I think that's one of the questions came up is, you know, with our medical staff. And I think that's where, um, you know, for the players that have it, it is 10 days of really not doing a lot. And I think that's where you've got the built-in time for the players. And that's why it's a, it's a different number for the players. And, you know, with the myocarditis and, and the number of tests that they're doing and the, and the checkups, uh, that's why they're two different. As far as, um, I, I don't know, Colton, today or right now, as we, we said that, um, when does the clock start, right? And um, obviously we'll find that out. Let's go to Jeff Patricus. Jeff, are you there? Okay, sorry about that. Paul, quick two-parter. One, first of all, how do you feel physically? And then second, you talked in, at length and your players have about how to mitigate this, to do all the right things. But there were times it looked like during the game where the facial covering was below your nose, which they don't recommend. Do you look back now at some things where the team or you missed some opportunities to be tighter and with the way you handled things? Yeah, um, first part of your question is, you know, I. I physically uh, feel good, certainly disappointed, right? For the, um, you know, for what's, what's happened. And, you know, throughout this whole, really kind of as we've gone about this, you know, you, we were wanting the opportunity and our players were wanting the opportunity to play. And, and then to um, not have that opportunity. And, and I know why, and I support, you know, and understand why we're not. But, you know, when you have a hand in it, you, you, you don't feel that that's where there's a, a disappointment. As far as are there things that personally or even team wise that, um, you know, you go through it with um, with everything, you know, certainly it was before today. Um, you know, I mean, I, I was what you're mentioning about the mask, you know, and I, and I had kind of, you know, gone through practice and it was good. And then I didn't know if it was because of the daylight and, and then it was fogging up. And, and so that was something I needed to get better at. Right. Um, and was working on that, you know, yesterday on the field that, you know, I had the shield and the mask and, you know, she, there are always things, you know, it was also, I think, uh, asked in kind of Barry's portion of the, of, of this, you know, what have, what have we done? Were there things that we did differently or that, you know, I think every day you're trying to look at um, what is it that we can do to, to try to be doing this better. Right. And, and to, to mitigate it. And certainly, um, you know, this is, and I, I don't profess to be an expert on this, but this is one part of this virus that it, it, it gets you in a number of different ways. And, and, you know, if you get, we don't know, like, did we have one super spreader? Did we, you, you know, I, I don't know that Jeff, right. But you, you're, you're absolutely always going to look at how can we be better and, and what do we need to do? And, and, um, you know, we changed stuff really at the start of you know, the end of last week. And, you know, even f when we went, you know, I know it was brought up before and kind of at the hotel and we, you know, we didn't have any team meals. We didn't, um, we had it available and there was to goes and then you could kind of had some spaced out seating uh, for some of you those know, 10 in a room and big rooms. And, and so you try to do all you can and, um, and it, you know, do I know that something there caused it? You know, I don't know uh, ground zero or, or where it really started. And, and that's where you continue to, 
try to, uh, you know, it's what we, right? The big thing is on any of this is what's our response. And, and the response is absolutely try to find every way that you can, one, how do we lower the curve, right? And that's what this, the seven day pause is. And, and to not have um, as many, it was, you know, we, we had a number of, of positives. And so you, first thing is to, to try to lower that. And then it's, and then it's, you know, as you go forward, what are the different things we can do to, uh, to allow ourselves to give us a chance to, to play. And that's, that, that's something that will be, you do every day, I think. Long answer, apologize. Go to Jim Polzine. Paul, if my math is right on the seven day pause means you guys won't get back till probably next Wednesday at the earliest. Um, is it realistic that you can play the game against Purdue the, the following Saturday um, with that short of time frame? Plus when you add in the fact that you and other staff members can't be with the team in person until by my math Saturday? Yeah, I think that, um, you know, first of all, it's, it's, we've got to be, uh, I don't know if the right word is productive, but we've got the, we've got to make use of this pause. Right. And, and um, we've got to flatten out the, what was happening. And, and then, um, you know, I do think that, that we can, uh, it, it, let's say it did go along those lines and you could go, I, I think that there is, you know, been a part of a lot of uh, different teams where you can prepare in a short time, you know, but, but it probably really none of that matters until we, um, the first thing we gotta do is take advantage of this seven day pause. And, you know, every one of our um, guys will be tested every day, you know, and, and, and hopefully we can show progress there. And, um, and give ourselves the opportunity to, to be talking about the, the, the next game. We'll go to Nicole Auerbach. Yeah, Paul, um, how challenging is it to navigate all of this um, in a state that is a hotspot? I mean, this isn't just your program that's been dealing with COVID, but the whole state is. So, it, you know, it's behavior outside of the football facility and everything. Just, I'm wondering what the context around the program has been like to navigate. Yeah, um, I think it's a really good, fair question, right? I don't know anything else, right? So I don't know that I can speak because I can't compare it to something else I've gone through on it, right? Um, I think there, you know, there certainly is a great awareness about it. And, um, you know, I, from the moment we got back together, you know, I talked to our players all the time about um, what's happening and, and, you know, you can have the best of intentions and you can do all that you can and, and, and it can still happen. Right now it feels different when you're one of the, I don't want to say contributors, but, you know, I've got to listen to the words that I was talking to them, but I don't know that I could say it's more difficult or less difficult because of at Wisconsin being in Wisconsin. I don't know if I'm understanding your question right, but I think that would be my answer if I am. Go to Mike Heller. I know that Jeff Patrick has asked you about how you feel, uh, and I know you can't get into specifics about players, but is there a concern over their health? Are any of those players who have tested positive um, showing signs of being significantly sick? And part two would be, how does this compromise your roster if indeed you get back to work next week on all of those players that have tested positive having to be out 21 days? Yeah, yeah. Um... You're right. I, I can talk about myself. Um, you're always uh, certainly concerned about your guys, but um, you know, right now I will say that you know um, we've been fortunate in a lot of ways. You know, and and nothing. Uh, but I, I'm not supposed to be talking about players. Go to Dennis Dodd.
Um, Paul, sorry this happened. Uh, when did you test positive? Um, yesterday afternoon, yesterday morning we took an antigen test and was uh, negative there. And then yesterday afternoon, uh, we all uh, took a PCR test and found out the results this morning. So that, that would put the coaches back on the field earliest next Friday. This kind of goes with that other question. Do you see any way that you can get back on the field Friday? Because nothing happens until the coaches are back on the field, that you can play that Purdue game. You know, I understand what you're saying. I think right now it's it's how do we navigate the the you know the, the seven day pause is important for us, right? And we've got to we've got to do that well, and um, that's got to go uh, kind of serve its proper purpose, and then we can kind of address the the other parts of it. And and not all the coaches have gotten it. Brian Posick. Yeah, Paul. Paul, I'm glad glad you're feeling well. Can can you um, can you share how the coaches who've been infected, if they're okay? Yeah, um, I don't know what I can really uh, supposed to be able to share, but uh, they're like me. Everyone's. I mean, it's two different. There's two things. When you say like, how do you feel? Right. There's a health feel and then there's a disappointment feel. Right. And but you were all probably real similar. Todd Molesky. Well, there was a lot of faith being put in the testing to be able to get the season going. Do you still have that? confidence in the daily testing given that you tested negative with that but then positive in a PCR test yeah and I, I don't know um, you know I don't know what the the next one would have been I, I uh, you know I I, I do and um, I, I still am confident back to Jim Todd actually took my question, Brian. I'm good. Good work, Todd. Uh, back to Colton. There it goes. Paul. Well, if this works with the, the players isolated in the hotel rooms and everything and the, the curve stops, is that something that you would consider trying to make work throughout the rest of the season, given what you've gone through in the last week? You know, I think those are all, I think Colton, it would kind of fall under the, you know, what we were talking about when, when Jeff asked the question and I probably went on a tangent of a lot of things, right. That um, you, you're going to try to, find everything like we are we want to do this the right way and and uh certainly and that's where it's you know you, you support the the decision because what matters most is you know the health and safety of our our players and then um then i think you're also trying to do what what provide them what they want most and and what we want, and that's the opportunity to play. And, and that's where you're trying to have that balance. And so I think you're going to try to look at uh, everything that you can do that, uh, that serves those two purposes. All right, we'll wrap things up with one more from Jeff. Yeah, Paul, um, I'm not sure if Barry was asked this, but the Big Ten protocols say if you reach a certain level, it's an automatic force shutdown, but you guys, your release said that you chose this shutdown just from a perspective. Is this game still a no contest? The Nebraska game. Is that your understanding? I honestly don't know. Like I, I um, and I haven't really asked that today and um, I, I don't know. <laughs> 